Hello, Quinn, do you want to ask the first question? Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, Matt, thanks for joining us. Um, a difficult evening tonight. Um, a, lot of, a lot of changes before kickoff, losing James and Seamus. Uh, that must have been a bit of a blow. We had to regroup. Yeah, look, it was. I can, the last two camps, we've been having people drop out and, and missing quite quite often. So, um, yeah, look, it's not ideal, but I guess that's why you have a big squad. Someone else someone else can get the opportunity to play. Um, and, and, that's, and that's what happened. So, um, look, we wish we wish them uh, James James well as he's, as he's gone out. And obviously, Seamus has picked up a little injury, so hopefully he can recover quickly. Just in terms of the... Your view of the game, we started well. We had a couple of moments, um, first 15 minutes, quite good at then, but didn't quite take our chances and we're made to pay at the end. Yeah, look, that kind of seems to be the trend at the moment where we're not taking any chances um, and then kind of getting punished. Uh, so, look, it's we're obviously going through a tough tough period in front of goal and um, it's not like we're not creating anything. I just, we're just not being able to put it in the net. I just don't know if the we have the belief every time we get in the position. Um, do we really believe that we're, we're going to score? I'm, I'm not sure that's the case. Well, we've got to go again because there's two National League matches coming up. Got to turn it around. Big game in Cardiff on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, look, and I guess today you kind of, we're all back together for the first time in a month. So today you kind of, at least we got 90 minutes behind us, get some sharpness ahead of the game Sunday. And um, look, we still have to be confident. We have to keep doing the right things, keep getting in the right positions. Um, look, and, and believe that with the hard work that we're doing, that eventually it'll, it'll turn around turn around for us in front of the net. Thank you. Thanks, Philip. Uh, Owen Cowser, do you want to jump in? Uh, hey, Matt. Uh, you mentioned there that you just don't believe there's the belief there when the team get into position. What can be done to change that, hopefully? Because I'm sure you're, I'm sure you're practicing and training, but just to do it in match. Yeah, obviously you practice and training. Um, Look, you just gotta. People just gotta do it themselves in their own mind. Just believe that when they when they have the chance that they're gonna they're gonna score. Um, have no, have no doubt about it at all. I think it's more of a maybe a mentality thing because we're getting in the positions. Um, whether we really think that once we're there that the ball's gonna go in or um, do we really have the belief to to maybe make that that run into a position that um like if you're a bit tired or or do we have the vision to see the run in the fr in the first place? So. Um, look, it's it's tough. Like it's not a nice feeling playing all these games and not scoring any goals. Um, look, it's everybody whenever whoever gets the chance, whether it's us from a defender, defenders from a set piece or or a bit of play playing in the in the game. We just need to have that focus and belief that when the when the chance comes, that we're we're gonna put it in the net. Is it got to the point where when you go a goal behind that, like you think you're done now or? Have we reached then? No, I wouldn't say like you think you'd for me personally, no, I don't I don't think like that at all. Um I don't know, I can't answer for the for the rest of the team, but whenever if we go a goal behind, why why would we think we're done? Like it's it's only one nil. Um but obviously it 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 kind of looks that way because we're not getting back into into any games. It's just frustrating and um look obviously it's disappointing, it's a bit embarrassing that we I feel a bit embarrassed sometimes when when I come off the pitch because we're just losing games and, and not scoring goals and, and conceding goals, so it's um it's not nice. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Owen. Uh, Paul Lennon, do you want to jump in? Uh, Matt, uh, you, you talk about your frustrations there uh, with, with coming off the pitch again, not have, have, having won or not have, having scored. Is it more a matter of luck or do you think that it's something you need to work in terms of the strategy you have in playing the game, um, are you overplaying at times? You need to be a bit more direct. No, look, I don't believe in in luck at all. So um, I don't think I don't think that's the case. Um, I think it's just I don't know. Like we looked we looked at a video of our chances over the last four games. Like we are creating chances. Um, we're getting in the position to score goals. Um, so we just have to we just have to keep doing doing the right things and. Change, like I said, change our mentality in front of goal, and just and just maybe have a little bit more composure, stay a little bit calmer. Um, like you always have a little bit more more time than you think. We don't need to snatch at stuff. Um, and if we keep working, keep doing the right things, hopefully it, it will change for us because we we kind of need it to change for us as quick as, quick as possible. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Aiden Fitzmaurice.
You're just coming off mute now in a second, Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, you're live. Yeah, hi, Matt. Uh, just in terms, are the players aware enough of how important the, the two games are? Obviously, not just in terms of of morale, the Nations League, but also the the points for the uh, for the World Cup with Slovakia winning tonight. Is that something that's that's talked about? I know you want to part tonight, but th there is huge importance to the next two games. Yeah, look, we we know exactly how important they are. Um, we don't be relegated from from this group, so we need we know exactly what's on the line. Um, we're not going into the game like blinded blind by the potential potential of, of what some losses will do so um yeah look we know what we have to do we know that we have to go and win the games um and we know how important that is to to the kind of ranking going into the group group set not group stages but the groups um for qualification for, for a world cup okay uh, and second one for me at times like this there's a lot of young players in the squad uh you know adam white lads are only teenagers are very, very young you're not experienced in terms of caps, but you are in terms of their age. Do, do you guys need to put your arm around the, the younger guys and, and lift them, even though you haven't got that experience yourself? Um, I'm not sure. Like everybody, everybody here is uh, they're, they're they're young, but we're men at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? We're they're all playing first team football somewhere. This is the international football now. So, um, look, I guess I guess you could maybe say say put your arm around a few people here and there but like at the end of the day you have to figure out yourself um you have to you have to kind of see the situations in games you can't just be reliant on other people to do it you have to kind of try and take games by the scruff of the neck and and um and and do it yourself you can't just molly coddle everybody and um and ho and it's just not going to work out that way you have to be a bit ruthless you have to be um just f ultra focused all the time um at the end of the day, it's international football. We're not playing kids' football here. So, um, yeah, you maybe the odd time you can put your arm around somebody, but at the end of the day, we have to we have to learn ourselves and we have to um, just go out on the pitch with full concentration, full focus, and and be men and and and, and take it on and and see how we how we get on. Obviously, it's not going well for us now, but um, look, we need we need that to change. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Aidan. And we've time for just two more. So first of all, Damien Spellman, and then after that, Ed Leahy, and that'll be us wrapped up. So Damien, first of all. Hi, Matt. Um, clearly, you're, you're disappointed tonight, but you are a team in transition. Would it be harsh to judge you on a performance against a team that would be one of the favourites for the Euros in the summer? Yeah, of course. Um, but, like, you still have your own pride, don't you? Your own personal pride. You can still... Um, you can still work hard, you know. You can still get around, get around the pitch, and um, just felt like we kind of gave up a little bit tonight. Once the second goal went in, we kind of just felt like we we there was no way anything anything kind of possible possibly good could happen from the game. Um, and that's not that shouldn't be the case. Like we should still be still be solid and wanting to do things right. But um, I just felt like that was that wasn't the case, and especially in the second half. Where we just let them clip balls into into players easy. They were turning and and running at us. So um, look, yeah, we are obviously in transition with new manager and obviously a lot of young players. But um, we need to we need to wake up. Thank you. Thanks, Damien. And last one, Ed Leahy, please. Matt, how are you doing? Um, just I suppose with two competitive games coming up over the next week, from a player's perspective, could you have done with an easier night out tonight um, in terms of a fixture, or else? Is it a game? Do players essentially still want to play against the top teams? And even in defeat, uh, they use them as learning experiences. Uh, well, the way that we're going, no game is kind of easy for us at the moment. Um, so look, no, I don't. I don't think we, if we chose somebody else, it would have been any better for us. If anything, the harder the opposition, the sharper it might make us for the for the weekend. So, um, yeah, look, we can take. We'll have to watch the game back and just take whatever positives. Um, Every, whatever positives we can into it, and um, look, obviously I am I am disappointed now. So uh, like uh, we'll have to just recover well and and make sure come Sunday that we're we're up for the game. We feel we feel confident when we walk onto the pitch that we're going to win. Cheers, best of luck. Thanks very much, guys.